Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to Stacey's Crafty Jam. So thrilled to have you today. How are you guys? Hope you're good. I hope you hope you're good. Working still on my final days of, of summer uh, for Line Dot Arrow Design Team Project. Said that all backwards, but that's that is what it is. Uh, still having fun, you know. We've done some. We've made some tags. We've done uh, an over the page thingy do. You know that was inspired by um, Angela Kerr. Uh, today I'm going to do more. It's not really over the page. Yeah, it is over the page. So I'm really kind of doing an over the page double envelope flip. Yeah, yeah. But it, this is a uh, uh, kits that are designed by Line Dot Arrow and Nonstop Paper Crafts. A great uh, YouTube channels. So much inspiration there. Uh, gorgeous papers. All the links are below. Yep. Uh, yeah. So this double envelope thing. Uh, I just pulled out a bunch of envelopes. You know, I started sifting through my envelopes and I was like, what do I got? What do I got? Uh, you know, because I'm, I'm down to the wire here wanting to get my project done in the next couple of days. And I've got this. The, the kit has got like all these gorgeous colors in it. Uh, see this pretty, pretty, uh, this, I love that. I love that. That blue, it, and then look how the pink meshes in there, and then that orange pops out. I love that. And then just every single color in the rainbow is, is in this. You know what I'm saying? So I just pulled out a bunch of papers from, look at that. Oh, oh, this is a pretty salmon pink. I don't, it doesn't probably come through on the, on, oh, this, uh, oh my goodness. Yes, 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 yes. It, it probably does not come through on the camera very well. But guys, it, truly breathtaking. So I love that one. You know, I'm, I'm just, I gravitate to the pink. And I'm, I'm liking blues these days. And here's some scraps I had left. So we'll, we'll use all, a combination of all that. And I've got these envelopes. Oh, I'm going to make a, um, uh, I found this in my stash. It's a, uh, it's just like a library pocket thing. So we'll alter this, but I don't know if we'll get to it on this video. A coffee dyed, uh, a library card, and see, see how much better, see how more better he <laughs> that it is once it's coffee dyed. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm gonna do that. Um. Yeah, but we're not probably my thing today is the double pocket, uh, uh, the double envelope pocket flip thing. Yeah, no, I, I don't know what we're going to call it. But anyway, so I've got a, a, a coffee dyed glassine envelope and I've got a, this blue envelope because it matches the blues, you know, in this in this kit really well. So, yeah, I thought I thought that was pretty cool. So what I want to do is I want to put this, let me get up my journal pages. I want to put this, see, I already got it trimmed and it pretty. Okay. Uh, I want to put it on the side of a page. Let's just say it was going to go on this page, which it won't, I don't think. But I want to put it on here like so. See? And then, where's my glassy? And then it's going to open like that. And there'll be stuff in there, right? And then this is going to be behind it. Right there. Yep, right there. And then it's going to open and open. So, yeah, it's simple, simpleton, okay? I Nothing extraordinary going on here. It's just what I'm doing and I need some friends to craft with, so tag your it. Tag your it. So the first thing I think I want to do, uh, these envelopes are, what are they, five? Yeah, five by four. No, three and a half. What do we got? One, two, three, yeah, and a half. So we got five by three and a half is the size of this little, little cute envelope. And then my glassines are... Almost five. They're like four and seven eighths. And by, by, what are they? Uh, you got like three and a quarter. So three and a quarter this way, four and seven eighths this way. I got those on Amazon. I think I bought like a billion of them or something. Yeah. <laughs> you know how it is with Amazon. 
All right. And, but I coffee dyed this. I love coffee dyeing the glassine stuff. I would have thought, honestly, uh, Tabitha Haynes uh, got me doing that. I would have thought that it would melt the, the glassine. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, if you keep the heat just like on it, it, it will tend to warp it a little bit. But it's nothing like what I anticipated, you know. But Tabitha will coffee dye anything. She'll coffee dye you if you sit still long enough. And uh, that's just, she's she's just good about that. And uh, she's very talented with dyeing stuff. And uh, she got, she's got me doing that now. Yeah. So I, I appreciate her inspiration. She always inspires me. All right. So I've put this on there because I, because I want to cover this, this, this little piece here. So that's how come for me to do it first. And then we'll cover this. We'll cover this. We're not covering this because this is getting glued down. But we'll cover the, the little triangle part here that goes there. We're going to cover that side. And we're going to cover this side. Let's start with the, the well, yeah, let's start with the, let's start with the front. Yeah, look, I always just, I don't know. Let's just start with the front. I went ahead and I inked around everything on both of these, on both of these before we came on. Try and do a little bit of the prep work for you. All right. I like, I like, this is a piece of a, of a, um, it's kind of going sideways, but I don't think I'm upset about that. I think I like it. So I'm going to save that for this piece or this piece. All right. Cause it's going to go good with that coffee dye. So then let me look at this, at this blue right here. If I can get my, my fatty fingers on it and mm, that New York, if I bring it down like so, it would just do some of that or it cuts off too much of that flower. Mm, no, I don't, I don't care for that. All right, let's look at this. All right. What if this really this blue really matches Ooh, that cuts off a little bit of the well if i if i move it over it won't cut off any okay let's do this so let's do this part here now i am absolutely completely certain there are other ways to do what i'm going to do however what you will find in stacy land is I tend to just do things that make sense to me. So I just made some marks and I'm cutting on those marks. And that's how wide this is going to be. But I, I need to quit yakking and get it cut right. Okay. Yeah. And I, like I say, I know I should probably measure and blah, blah, blah. But, oh, guys, I just, I just don't. Okay. I just, I just don't, I just don't. All right. But it works. It works. I've watched Stephanie Davis craft like this and it's like, oh good. I'm glad I'm not the only one. All right. And then we're going to cut here. Boom shakalaka. Oh my goodness. It, we're, I told y'all stick around. It's blooming. We're supposed to be a hundred degrees today and tomorrow. Lord help us, please. Texas, Texas, Texas. Oh, my Atlanta. But, you know, it was nice. I, I I wasn't lying that day. It was it was lovely. It's been lovely for a few days. But I told you, I knew it was not to be staying around for for very long. But it'll 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 pop back up. You can't keep winter away. And you have to have the fall before the winter. Usually. I don't know. I should quit yakking. Maybe. Maybe I'm going to jinx the whole thing. But I don't believe in all that. I believe in blessings untold. Okay. I'm going to cover, cover, cover. See, and the paper is already collaged. I mean, for the, it's just boom. It's there and it's beautiful. I'm, I probably am going to embellish this a little bit. But I'll be honest. You don't have to, because it's pretty, pretty, pretty. 
But yeah, this is not an earth shattering, you know, project. Y'all know I use Fabri-Tac because I got to move it around. All right. Did you hear that glassing? I like the sound of that. Okay. So that's going to flip open that way. So then we got the front of this one, and I was looking at this, right? Remember? Yep, yep, yep. So let's let's make some marks here and do and do some cutting this way. Oh goodness. Yeah, it's a Friday here in today. And oh I cut the wrong side. Oh well, that's the way it goes. I wanted to keep that side over there. It's what I get for not paying attention. But it'll be all right. Oh. Um you can't cut off when you when you're when you're dealing with these papers, it's it's still it's still great. It's still wonderful. But I did purposely pick that paper for that reason. But I've got this here. So, I'm still good. I'm not upset. Okay. We're going to ink this up. Yeah. And, you know, just get you some envelopes and get to, and get to playing, you know. And then that's, uh, this is an over the page envelope pocket thing that meets the, you know, the challenge. So, but I'm, I'm just trying to create some, which direction do I want to go? I want to go that direction. I just, I'm just trying to create some things for my journal. And I'm also avoiding the whole binding process. <laughs> this is me avoiding that exposed spine. Oh, I'm so nervous. Seriously. I told my sister last night, I'm like, oh, I'm not so nervous. She's like, you always are. I'm like, well, that's true. But this one I've never done before. Holy cow. But I'll do it. I better get to it, because what if it doesn't work out? This whole thing I got thought up. And um, and I got to go to, like, a plan B. I won't have time. That would be horrible, Stacy. now. All right. So, yay. There's that. Now, let's look at this. Okay. Ooh, I was going to tell you. The way I do... You see how it's got the little roundy part there? I'm not so much worried about it. I'm just going to start going from here over. I'm not I'm not tripped out that, that not everything is, you know, perfecto there. Um, let me find the paper I want to use. Oh. No, can't use that. Could use that. That's got some blue there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So yeah, I'm just picking up the papers and I'm and I'm doing it. We're gonna we're gonna get this project done. I did some CD sleeves a minute ago, but I didn't turn on the video. And I thought, Stacy, turn on the camera. Because I, I mean I'm talking to myself anyway, I'll be honest. Because I got my kitty cats. So I might as well be talking to you. I know. It doesn't take much for a crazy lady. That's me. All right. Now let's see here. Do I want that to go that way or this way? I think I like it this way. I do, I do. So we'll cover these up and then we'll look at a little bit of embellishing. Yes, we will. Because there is enough ephemera in this kit. 
for sure. And I sure cut a lot of it. No football game tonight. It's Friday Night Lights. So that's high school football in Texas, USA. But they t they had their game last night. So we aren't going to the football game tonight. But I do have what we call midget football tomorrow. That's my 11-year-old grandson's football. So I still have football. And then the Cowboys play Sunday. Y'all like football? Oh, my gosh. If you don't know anything about me, then know this. I love football. It's 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 awesome. Okay. Now, see how this one has the little whoop-de-doo? Now, there is there lies when I have, when I want to deal, deal with it. You know what I'm saying? So, let me Okay, I've already used that on the CD sleeve, so I'm not going to use that. We're going to get another paper. Another paper. Okay, how much? Oh, okay. Let's do let's do this one. Okay, we are. We're going to do this one. And this is how I do it. I do it. I cut the width. The I cut from here to here. Okay. So check this out. I know. There may be a better way, but this is how I've been doing this envelope thing for quite a while now. And it's it seems to work for me, to be honest, guys. All right. Then I put this inside like so. All the way down in there. Snug as a bug in a rug. And then I draw around the envelope. I know, you're probably all going, I know, I, I do that. But in case you don't do that, you know, just, that's my little 411. And then I just cut around it, and if I need to trim and blah -de blah I do. And if it doesn't meet up at, at, at some point, you know what? I'm not upset about it ever. I make it work. And by golly, if I got it all wrong, then I'll just cut another piece. You know? We're not we're not upset about nothing. Okay. All right. Let me. We're we're pretty good. I need to trim off down here. And yeah. Look at that. That's pretty good, except I need to I need to cut off about an eighth of an inch. Well, let me use the, the trimmer. Uh, if I cut it by hand, oh my gosh. Not gonna be pretty. I already know. Okay. Okay. Let me see if that works now. That'll do it. I think it will. Well, it's really kind of close. Let me trim out just a hair, 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 hair more. But yeah, there I am absolutely, completely certain that there is another way to do this. This is just my way. My, I call it my cheater way. I do. I think it cheats when you do it that way. But, like, how am I supposed to freehand something like that? You know? So, yeah. And then I used to, before I did this way, I would piece it and collage it, you know? But I'm pretty much all of the opinion that if the sooner I can get it done, the better sometimes. And this is sure quicker than piecing it on together. All right. 
I'm loving a bunch of this. All these papers are gorgeous. Okay, see, we're a little, I, again, I, I really am not that upset if it's not completely perfect. It's just, it's perfect to me. So there's that. Now we got to do the triangle part. So let's. Let's see. No, that's not wide enough. Let's. Let's just do that. And I'm again doing the same blooming thing. Same thing. We're going to trace around it. I know. Don't laugh. Oh, you know what? Y'all can laugh. I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Okay, this time I kind of cut to the to the left of the line a little bit, but not too much, because then I go back and I and I make adjustments as needed. Just a little hair to the left of the line. All right. Now, let's see. How close did we come? All right. Usually, I always have to, I have to cut here. Always. And I usually always have to cut right here on the sides. All right. I can see better on this flat side. Here I am cutting freehand. Lord help me. All right. Let's see. Let's see. How much do I need to do now? I need to do a little more. And then, oh, it'll be perfect if I do just a little more. Okay. And this is the part that's going to be stuck down that creates the whole thing to be a flip flap. Okay, good enough. Good enough. All right, anchor time. And see, I didn't even have to hunt, peck, or nothing on those papers. Just picked up a piece of paper and and started. It, it worked. It works. It, they all work together. That's why I, I like using paper packs like Stamperia or a, a digi kit like this line dot arrows nonstop one. You know, you just pick it up and you go because everything you don't. There's no hunting around. In my scrapbooking days, I'm telling you, I would spend more time hunting for a piece of paper than I did anything else. Irritating. Irritating, I say. Oops. Oh my goodness, that's almost perfect. Look at that. See, it, it works. I know it's a, it's a cheater way, but it works. All right, now we're to the decorating because this will go on my page if I did absolutely nothing to this, okay? It's going to be that direction. If I did nothing to this, just simply, let's say I put it on this page. I glue that down there like that, right? Look how pretty that is. That's gorgeous. And then you're going to open the page and, and it's going to flip and then it's going to flip again. Yeah. And we're going to put stuff inside. Yeah. This is pretty cool. I like that. I like that. I'm glad I found those envelopes. All right. Now, let's let's look at some decorating. Let me get out my, my box of tricks I told you about. 
All right, let's. Now oh, that blends in, but I've got it in a sepia. Still kind of blends in. Ooh, look at that. That's fun. That's really fun. Okay, I think I found the, the place for that. It's already got a butterfly, so no, no, no. I think I want to use that somewhere. I like maybe that luggage word or ephemera. I like that. Okay, let me... Let me look at these. I'm going to do the distressing. I don't know where I did with my distressing tool, guys. I bought one of those stupid little distress. And it's not stupid. I shouldn't say that. Stop, Stacey. I bought one of those very lovely distressing tools. And um, I don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't know. I took it to the craft retreat back in May. And I've never seen it again. And I know I brought it home. It's here somewhere. I'm sure I put it in a safe spot. Lord have mercy. Oh my goodness. Did y'all watch my last video? I talked about, oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I saw my grandbaby girl this morning. She didn't say, oh my goodness, though. Sweet thing. A lot of my life. No, I had to go help my grandson make his history project this morning at 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. I'm on YouTube trying to figure out how to make pyramids out of paper. Oh, my Lanta. That boy. He needs to get his life together. Making his Nana do that. All right. Okay, we're going to back that with something, something. I'm going to keep those words out because I'm probably going to use them. I might use that. I love this boot so much. All right. There's a ticket. There's some tickets. There's some words. There's some luggage. There's some more tickets. All right. No, nope, I don't want to cover up everything. But I might. Like that. There's so much to use. Oh, my goodness. Such a blessing to have this much ephemera at your disposal. Okay, but that's enough, Stacy. Figure out what you're going to do. All right, let's... I'm going to use a combination of these two sepia. Uh, and I like the distress thing. Especially the way it takes the ink when you distress the little, the little thing. And then... I'm liking this little compass thing a lot. I like that. I think. I don't know. No, that's not going to work. Okay, let's do. Oh, let's do something like that. Let's do something like that. But let's, let's get the cheesecloth and we'll cut off a little hunk of cheesecloth. Yep, we will.
I'm going to put a little cheesecloth behind, behind her. Alright, that's going to go down there like so. And then this is going here, but let's put let's put some other cheesecloth behind that one. That's the some I don't know. You know, there's different grades of cheesecloth. So Oops, I got that too close to the edge. Uh. Right. Oh, I need to get a new pair of scissors, guys. This is some sad stuff. Yep, I like that. Okay. So let's lay this down. Simple, simple. I'm keeping her simple today. Oh, my lantern. Let it go. Let it go and stay down. Okay. Yep. This is going to be lovely. I like that. And then this, I'm just going to put on down. That's awesome sauce. So that's some nice decorating right there. I like that. And then let's put, I don't know. Do I want to, this I want to leave flat. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be, I don't want to get too bulky. But I do like the roses here. Oh. Oh, let's just keep it simple. I like that. I love that green and that roam. The way it plays with the green on these leaves. I like that a lot. I like the, the shape of this roam thing. That's This is really going to be great. And then where do I want to put this? Right here, about right there. So, yeah. Yeah, we keep it all simple, you know. Then I can I can get my project done. But I got some ideas though. I got a few. Yeah, somebody commented on my on my tag video. Whoever, if you're watching, thank you. Uh, about making a pocket with with you know what I tore to make the tags. Love it. I will be doing that with the other torn piece. Okay, that's lovely. Now what? That's a little on the big side. Okay. Okay, let me find... Let me get my... Oh, I like that. Explore, maybe, or travel. Okay, let's do travel. Travel. 
So let's do travel and let's do one of these tickets in sepia. All right. And I like the 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 butterfly on this one, so I don't know what I want to do to that. I like it just like that. What if I took a little, I know I've got some remnants of music over here, some aware. Here it is. I mean, it's just a little tiny piece of music. But what if, what if I did that? I know it's almost silly to save something like that, but I do. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do it. Okay, just adds a little bit of. I don't know, definition, interest, you know. It helps it to pop a little bit. And then I've got a bunch of ephemera that I'm just going to put in the pockets. I do, I do. Which way is right? I think that is. I'm glad I looked. Okay. Don't want to put that there. I think I do. I think I do. And let's get that. It seems a little empty right there. Let's use a postage stamp that I can pull from my shop. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yep. Oh my goodness. Look at that color. Perfecto. Let's add a little ink to it. Yeah, I don't know if I want to touch that that place over there with the with the, the pink butterfly on it. Oh my goodness, I like it. Yep, I like it. All right. And then, you know what? I don't know. Let me, let me see. Okay. What if I did that? And I did tickets. That would be a kind of appropriate, right? And And then, you know, how they'll tear the ticket once you board somewhere. I don't know. That kind of 
That's why I like doing that sometimes. And that pops all by itself. I like that. Let's just do that. I told you I'm keeping it simple today. Either way, this is this honestly, I'm I'm really having a good time with this little project. And then we'll fill her up with some fun stuff. And we're good. Oh my goodness, this is great. This is great. I hope y'all enjoyed this project. Uh, you know, get you some envelopes and, and just start flipping and flapping, you know. Um, oh, I think that butterfly needs to go right there. And, uh, you know, just create create flips and flaps. That's all there is to it. It's, it's not, I don't think I like my little tentacles. My little antenna has got to go. They got sad. This is why I don't I don't leave them on a lot of times. Because once I put once I do that, I put them in my ephemera thing, and it's like, oh my gosh, they get all they get all sad. See, it doesn't need nothing else. It's pretty just like that. So, yep. All in the all in the 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 see, I'm gonna keep that because I'll use it. Um put it in my box of tricks. Yeah. This is uh, this is amazing. I, I I really enjoyed this project. I hope y'all did. If if you are new to Stacy's Crafty Jam, guys, I am working hard, uh, wanting to reach my goal by the end of the year. Uh, who knows? Who knows what God will do? But if you're new, I would love to have you join me. Hit subscribe. If you're uh, you know, and I love my subbies. You guys are awesome. You know, share this video or share the channel. And uh, let's see if we can't grow us a little bit. That would be fun. Uh, but either way, I'm so very grateful for you. Y'all are absolutely amazing. I'll get my ephemera out here. And I'm going to fill these pockets in just a second. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's easy breezy. And yeah, I just, I just really am thankful for you guys. So, so much. And uh, yeah, and if you guys... Um, you know, or let me know. Tell me in the comments what you think. What you think about the project? You know, I'm I'm curious. I'm curious always to know what you think. What is going on in your neck of the woods? He, all right, y'all go and have a fantabulous day. And uh, you know, I I'm grateful. Thank you. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.